What's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. Grover is one of the best trees in the realm, and while he can't absorb an infinite amount of damage and protect players from certain doom like other trees can, he can still do a whole lot for any team and he is one of the best supports in the game. Unlike other supports, Grover isn't just a heal bot. He can actually provide a significant boost to the team's damage while consistently providing excellent healing for his team. Grover is definitely one of the most fun support champions to play in Paladins, but he does have multiple different playstyles and takes quite a bit of practice and skill to use well. So that's why in this video I'm going over some tips, tricks, and loadouts you can use to get better at Grover. So without further ado, let's get into how to play one of the strongest and most fun supports in the realm, Grover. Grover's first and most important job is to heal his teammates and keep them alive. As with all other healers, a good loadout is crucial to being the best healer possible. When making a strong healing loadout, you want to prioritize cooldown reductions as much as possible, since Grover's Blossom has a base 10 second cooldown, and that's just several seconds too long. Having Perennial at level 5 is absolutely mandatory for a good healing loadout, since it reduces Blossom's cooldown to only 7.5 seconds. Adrenaline is also a really good card to have, since it can reduce all his cooldowns by up to 50% when at its max level every time you get an elimination. Although in my build, I only have this card at level 3. Grover's Blossom also has a really short radius at its base length, which makes having Verdant Expanse in his loadout extremely crucial. Vine Grasp is also super important to have, since it lets Grover travel around the map much more quickly, escape enemies, and get close to his allies so he can heal them when needed. The filler card is really just personal preference, but having Gentle Breeze is really helpful for giving your allies a bit of a speed boost when needed, and it especially helps out slow champions like Dredge, Tyra, and Terminus. Now, when playing healing Grover, you want to try and be around your allies as much as possible, since you can only heal them when you're right next to them. Grover heavily employs the use of his vine to travel between allies, so getting comfortable with vining to and from your teammates is a crucial thing to master when healing with Grover. You also want to try and heal as many people as possible whenever you use your Blossom, since each person you heal with it will charge your ultimate by 2%. Asking your teammates to group up around you and come to you for healing if they need it can be extremely helpful for keeping your team alive, especially in lower level matches or in ranked as a simple reminder. As far as using your ultimate goes, using it to save yourself is the very last thing you ever want to do when playing Grover as a healer. Oftentimes, when you take Focus Fire and are just about to die, using your ultimate will not heal all the damage coming in and you will just end up wasting it, especially in the late game when most enemies have at least cauterized too. Instead, you want to use it for its intended purpose, keeping other teammates alive when they're the ones taking heavy fire. By using your ult when enemies are firing at your other allies instead of you, you both increase your chances of getting the most out of your ult and keeping your teammates alive, and decrease the chance of you dying, since most people won't fire at an ulting Grover who's already at full health. You also typically don't want to use your crippling throw aggressively as a healing Grover. Saving his throw for an incoming flank is crucial for letting Grover escape, reposition, and help chop down the now immobilized enemy. You also don't want to mindlessly throw his cripple at a champion like Anara or Vivian, since they already don't have a movement ability and his cripple doesn't affect them in the slightest. Damage Grover can be a huge threat on the battlefield, with Axis dealing upwards of 900 damage with his ferocity talent. When building a loadout for Damage Grover, you of course don't want to prioritize cards that buff his Blossom, since healing isn't your primary goal. Instead, you want to focus on cards that buff your HP and Crippling Throw, since both will increase your chances of winning a fight with an enemy. Bark Skin, Vine Grasp, and Chop Down are all essential cards to have in your loadout, because they all work extremely well for making a strong damage build. I also find Unstoppable to be really helpful, since damage reduction is super useful in giving you that extra second to finish off a target before they can kill you. Playing damage Grover is quite a bit different from healing with Grover. Instead of using your vine to chase down allies and heal them, you want to use it solely for positioning yourself in hard to reach vantage points that give you an excellent place to chop down all your foes and make the enemy flanks leave you alone. You also have to treat damage Grover as more of a sniper. Since his axes deal more damage the farther away you are from your target, it's best to sit back and deal damage from a distance. Of course, you don't need to play him like Kinesa, but it's still best to be at mid to long range when playing damage Grover. Lastly, when playing Damage Grover, you want to treat his Blossom as a personal heal, rather than one you need to use on your allies constantly. While it is still optimal to heal up an ally in peril right next to you, you can't be in the mindset that you are your team's sole healer, since if you're playing Damage Grover, you should already have a strong main healer like Furia focusing on that. Similar to Pip's heal, you want to use it on yourself whenever you're struggling with a fight and need an extra boost to keep you alive, not when your teammate across the map needs you. No matter which playstyle you go for as Grover, his itemization is generally the same. Both healing Grover and damage Grover benefit from Kronos, since his heal, movement, and cripple all have quite a decent cooldown that needs reducing. With a healing Grover though, this should be your first pick. Morale boost could be a good alternative if you have multiple tanks, but in general Kronos is the way to go. 
Kill to Heal is also Grover's preferred support card. Since he can heal from an elimination he gets by healing, and his weapon does not have a high enough DPS that Life Rip would be helpful. Finally, Cauterize is usually the best option for an offensive item, since his damage does not scale on shields. His axe deals a flat 300 damage no matter what distance you are away from a shield, so Wrecker generally isn't a good buy. As always, defensive items are completely situational. So anyways, that's the end of this video. Did this video help you get better at Grover, one of the most fun supports in Paladins? If so, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more content like this from me. Also, if you have a suggestion or want to pick up tips, be sure to join my Discord server using the code in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.